What's going on, PokeTubers and viewers? I'm back with another mail video for you today. We're gonna to start with sealed, no PSA cards this time. We've got a lot, a lot of singles, <clears throat> as well as some sports stuff and some stuff I already have sleeved for PSA. So the sealed items we got are these Pokemon Center exclusive Japan gym boxes. It's one of the newer gym leaders. We can see this Poke Gym up here. Uh, always buying these boxes and I love what they're doing with them now. Where if you stack them together with, with two, you can make a nice display. Gives you more of a, a look of what what the whole picture is. So that's really cool. We got four of those total. So I usually buy between four and five of the Pokemon Center boxes. The next thing we have is still technically sealed, but they're just two promo cards. It's Meowth and Clefairy, Toys R Us. Um, not sure if I'm gonna crack those. Those are from 2016. So those are technically sealed items. The next pile we're gonna go through is a little bit of the bulk that's not for PSA at this point. Either I said no to it when I was sorting it, or I haven't really looked it over close, depending on value. I'll try to speed through that. Um, but you guys know I always show stuff that I'm gonna send to PSA in these mail videos because I like to sort it right when it comes in. So we have a bunch of, of these Galarian Ponytas and Rapidash, I'm trying to grade some of those and I went through them. I got this Alolan Marowak. Some newer stuff that I thought would look cool graded. Then some random Japanese cards. More modern. Just some more Neo and Gym bulk of Pokemon that I like or may grade in the future. So it's just a bunch of Scythers. There's a couple base hollows in there that aren't gradable at this point. Pikachus, Charmanders. There's some Japanese. This Blaine Charmander has pencil on it, or Char Charizard has pencil on the back. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but there's like a couple lines. So I'm gonna try to get it an eraser and see if I can get that off. I just don't know if it's been on there super long and if it's gonna make, leave any weird scuff. So that's actually a first for me to have pencil on the car and have to deal with that. All right, so let's get into PSA pile number one. These are all recent pickups. So these will all go into PSA shortly. I have another order ready that you guys have already seen the cards. So now I move behind the camera because the PSA cards always give super weird glares when I show them in front of the camera. The camera screen always reflects right on them. You can even see a little bit of my window. My windows are reflecting on them a little bit. So these are some Alolan cards, Glaceon, Glaceon cards, Galarian cards of some modern stuff that I liked. And I wanted to get a couple graded. There's a few more of those. There's a reverse of the Marowak. Um, two Hidden Fates Vulpix cards. Two more Alolan Marowaks, but these are hollow, those are sick. Picked up a random Rai Rai Raichu and Alolan Raichu tag team. Thought that was really cool art. The next group of these cards are Japanese Wizards hollows. I need to get Rockets Zapdos in English, actually. I don't have one of those graded yet. I've graded them in the past, but I wanted to get one to keep. So, I think I might have a couple in this other pile. I don't have any at PSA currently. So just lots of Japanese hollows. Camera's finally focusing well, right where I need it to. 
I'd say these are eights plus. Hopefully a couple ten candidates. I haven't sent a lot of Japanese wizard stuff before. Just uh, mixing it in as I've gotten it. Just do them quicker now, get to the end of this pile, so you know what it all is. So here we go. The next pile is a nice mix of things. And like I said, I got to go through and put these all in chronological order. But I wanted to get this video done. So here's some of the Neo Bulk and Gym Bulk stuff that I'm sending in. More fire red leaf green, some base cards. So when I usually do the PSA submissions, you'll see these typically in chronological order. Unless I add cards to the end of the order, then I just throw them in. Really trying to get this Fending Series Haunter in it. In a nice grade. There's Pikachu 20 UK promo. So it has the Pikachu 20th anniversary logo instead of Toys R Us. Which I think is cooler. But some people really like the Toys R Us. The Toys R Us Charizard or Charmanders. A lot of people were buying those up. You know the base set art with the, the nice hollow promo. Another vending card. Macho. It's pretty cool. Here's the theme deck or blister promo. I think it's a blister promo. Three pack blister. Ponita. Hollow. It's for all my bronies out there. <laughs> I'm not one, but I sent this to the group chat. So if I want to grade these, does that make, make me a brony? There's a Metapod vending series. More of Rocket Scyther. There's the Zapdos. And I mentioned... Mm. Giovanni's Nino King. And this starts the next pile. Should be a lot of rocket cards in this. Rockets Mewtwo, which I asked if people noticed this before. The hollow in this is a lot shorter. Three attack types here. Which someone told me was the first card to have three across it. So it made the hollow a lot smaller on this card. Still a great looking card. That's why I got a bunch. Because I need to get this one in nine before I can't afford it. Charman Charizard. Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan. Really like to try to get the complete trainer set in nine to add to my gym series display. I have the theme decks going across my shelf with the matching booster packs at the top. I'd also like to pair the, the trainer hollow with that theme deck. And then I'd also add the Pokemon that's on the box in PSA to the display. So your Brock's deck would have Rhydon and Sabrina's deck would have Alakazam. I still need three of the decks. Got to pick those up at some point. Obviously they're the most expensive ones. So... Giovanni, Koga, and Blaine. I think Koga might be a little cheaper than Sabrina, but we'll get there. And I really like a couple theme deck cases of Jim, Jim Heroes. Jim and Jim Challenge. Jim Heroes, Jim Challenge, you know. 
had an opportunity to buy some and I didn't. Now they're they're so high. All right, coming up to the end of the cards going to PSA, and then I have some sweet sports cards. Um, I did a real nice Phoenix break, and I got the case hit. So if you're interested in sports or want to learn more about sports, I'm about to show those. I sent another like 32 card sports order not too long ago, but I didn't film it. But you guys did see all the cards come into the channel. I just had to be real selective because sports are actually what has PSA in shambles backed up. That's why they raised their ultra modern price of sports to $15 a card because they're getting tired of people just spam them with mosaic base cards and stuff that may only be $30, $40 graded in a 10. Uh, so now you really got to evaluate that. So a lot of the stuff I'm sending is, is not for flipping purposes. You guys know I collect Sooners, some Cowboys, some Sixers, mostly Sooners cards though. I just like, I know collegiate cards are not as in demand when it comes to resell, but if a player is good in college, the opportunity to buy those cards are after they're already established, and then you're not reliant on their NFL career. So you still have a nice market of people who follow college teams, and maybe some exclusively, like me. You know, like, I'll buy a Sooners card graded if that guy was good on the Sooners, but not like a good NFL player, because it's a different card to me. But here we go. Starting off with the case break, I got the Tom Brady Elf in fuego case hit so there's no number on this card it's just a case hit flame so there's this is not the only one either there's various players you can get across and i think i had nine teams total in this break so i hit a real nice eagles triple patch autograph wince sanders and rager that's a four or five so that's pretty low for card standards you have your one ones one of fives one of tens here's a jalen hurts Dual patch auto rookie. That's out of 25. Great for me. He's the Sooners. I'm not an Eagles fan, but I ended up with the Eagles. Got a Justin Herbert rookie memorabilia. Jalen Rager. So eight, there's eight boxes, and each include one memorabilia and two autographs. So, I mean, I hit memorabilia on three of the eight boxes, and I think this would count as an autograph. So, I really nice hits. There's more in here. But here's some other ones from mail. The Phoenix set has like a little triangle on it, you'll see. I got a real nice CD lot that came with an auto and this certified patch. There's a DAC mosaic green and a CD mosaic green. So these are the base ones that I've said that they're getting spammed with. And here I am about to spam with more. But these are all CD NFL debut and regular base rookies. Very high on CD. Obviously, being a Sooner and a Cowboy, it's double for me. So here's more of the Phoenix hits. That's the base card. And you have cool stuff like this, Rookie Rising, which some of these are numbered. This one's not. There's uh, Illuminates. Love the classic look of the Donruss. Verified B sold me one of those, so that's my second one I'll be sending in. Here's a Crown Kings Rookie. It's just a base card. It's not numbered or anything. But it's a rookie card and a little cool in case. There's the Trayvon Diggs Phoenix. And here's one of my other auto hits. Tra Trayvon Diggs Pink Mosaic, which is out of 99. So there'd be 99 across all the printing. And this one was a really good hit for not being uh, one of the autos or patches. This is a 2 of 10 Justin Herbert rookie black, which is like one of the lowest numbered base cards. And... Black is one of the highest tiers in the set. It, I'm not sure if it's the highest, but I assume there's a 5 of 5 and a 1 of 1. Here's more rookie Herberts. So I had big hits with the Charizer, Char, Charizers. Chargers? I'm trying to mix like Char, Charizard and Chargers together. Uh, another flamethrower. So this one's numbered out of 149 where that first one wasn't. There's another Justin Herbert base. Looks the same as the black, but it's the silver. It doesn't have a black background. Another Herbert. So all the ones besides uh, um, the teams that I like, I'll probably sell them. But I'm going to try to grade the Tom Brady and Fuego card. I think I could get 600 for it right now. I just want to grade it and see how it does. 
there's a couple of eBay sold at 600, and then I'm watching a couple at auction with a few days left there in the mid 200s. Um, but yeah, so there's one of these cards in an entire case. That's why I like buying in the case breaks because if you buy single boxes, somebody might have already hit the case break and then selling the rest of the boxes. And sports is really that's really well known of you know each set you know the quantity chance of a case break and stuff like that so if you guys enjoyed the psa videos and the mail videos make sure you thumbs up subscribe if you're not check out the discord check out the links below follow on instagram and as always thank you guys for watching